Hello, I'm Chris. Now I just wanted to make a very quick video on which custom keys you can assign on the Sony RX100 5A. This will also be applicable for most, if not all, other Sony RX100 models. The bigger cameras in the Sony lineup, like the Alpha series, will even have more custom keys available. Custom keys are important, as some of the camera's features are only available when they are assigned to a custom key. One of these examples is IAF. By default, this is assigned to the center button on a control wheel when you are in photo mode. Just click the center button of the control ring when you are in continuous shooting mode and you will see that when shooting portraits, the camera will focus on the eye of the subject and keep tracking it even when the subject moves. Custom keys can be configured differently for the different modes of the camera. Those modes are still mode, video mode and playback mode. Each of these modes has different features that can be configured to the custom keys and we will look at them in the menu in just a little while. Obviously, a custom button for a specific mode will only work when the camera is also set to that mode. The possible custom keys are the control ring in the front, the function button, the center button as well as the left-right buttons on the control wheel, and lastly, the C button. The C button is the one that also doubles up with the trash can button. This gives us a total of six configurable keys. Please note that not all of these keys can be configured in each mode. Let's have a look at the menu and see what we can configure for these buttons. To get to the configuration screen on the RX100 5A, we go to the second camera tab and then to page 9. For still mode, we can see that the function button is not available. The list only shows the control ring, the C button, center button, left and right. The function button is not available as this gets us to the quick menu. For the other buttons there are plenty of options. For the control ring we have four different pages of possible configurations. While for instance for the C button there are 19 different pages of various possibilities. I will not go through them all individually but will quickly scroll through them and you can have a look yourself. For video mode, which is the second here, the default is to use the same option as for still mode. So this can be marked as follow custom with the still signs next to it. We can of course change them as well if we want to. Again, some of the different options are not available for each button. Here we see 14 various pages, while for the C button, for instance, we see 15 pages. For playback mode, only the function button can be specified, as the other keys are either needed for scrolling through the recordings or for the leading items, so they cannot be changed. After having configured the feature to one of the custom keys, it's as simple as pressing this button or moving the ring while in the appropriate mode to use it. As an example, I will use IAF when it is in stills mode. I go into one of the picture modes and then click on the center button of the control ring, as this is the one that I have configured for IAF. And as you can see, there is a small rectangle over the subject's eye and it keeps on tracking it. As I don't have a model here, it's actually funny to see that this even works when selecting a face on a computer screen. It is important to say that features, of course, need to be supported in a specific shooting mode. So for IAF to work, you have to be in continuous autofocus mode. So if you press the button while in single shot or automatic autofocus mode or in manual focus modes, then of course this will not work. Thank you for watching.